guys welcome to my channel my name is Samantha Rizundu and today we have it's a get ready with me but also a little bit of a haul and trying on a little bit of makeup it's kind of what I usually do I never have like a full face of new makeup I just got little bits here and there that I've gotten from Priceline and Mecca and Adore Beauty so should we go through what I have first just a little heads up I've got orange fingers I just made Probably should have done it after I filmed, but I couldn't wait. I made a golden milk, you know, like the turmeric golden milk. It looks disgusting, but I grated turmeric, ginger, cinnamon, and warmed up milk on the stove with a little bit of rice malt syrup, just so it's not like the tiniest bit of sweetness. And um, I don't have a strainer, so I'm eating it pulpy, judgment. But... I'm trying to boost my immune system, which I will get into. I have been absent. I'm aware I've been absent. Even when I did my live, what is that, two weeks ago now? I was not well then. And I've just, let's just get into it and I'll tell you later. Right, so a couple of things that were sent to me. Actually, what primer have I got? I've got to start putting makeup on. Where's my primer? Of course, I forgot. I knew I was forgetting something. I've forgotten the bloody primer, haven't I? Can I use this as a primer? Yeah. I can use this as a primer and a setting spray. So we're going to use this. This is the Rimmel. One of you guys told me that this is not new when I was talking about it in my new to Australia video. But it's new packaging. And I was like, you know what? That's good enough for me. I did see it half price at Priceline. Or 40% off. One of, one of those. And I actually really want to try it. So... I, I guess it's not new, but it's new to me. Uh, this is the Lasting Finish Fix and Go 2-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray. Uh, infused with chamomile, cucumber. Mmm. Nice. Mmm. Mmm, that's so fresh. Oh, that is cucumber. Oh, that's so fresh. Mmm. Oh. Okay, love that. Don't know if it's going to do anything, but it feels and smells. Actually, it's got a, it's a little bit sticky. So I think this would actually be better as a primer than a setting spray. Oh, I can't stop looking at my orange fingers. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Um, okay, so I do have two foundations. I think I know which one I'm going to do. I have the Hourglass, the new Hourglass Hydrating Skin Tint. I have tried this once not this particular one did i try this one yes i tried this once and i actually wore it to work so we're going to talk about my uh, thoughts on it as we talk the other one i have is the revlon color stay light cover foundation i know this isn't new new but i like the idea that it's still long wear yeah that's why i bought it because it's a light cover but long wear and that's what i like i like something that is long wear because i'm oily but not full coverage. So I thought I wanted to give this a try. I guessed the shade. It was not easy to guess. I picked 150 buff. I do tend to go ever so slightly darker when it's light coverage uh, because I do find, I look, I just look ill very quickly. <laughs> and I'm trying not to. I've actually still got a little bit of fake tan it looks more like a gradual tan. So my face is a little bit lighter. I just want to swatch it. Oh, I like this. Oh, that's going to be... I thought it was going to be too dark, but now seeing it on my hand, I think it's going to be okay. Oh, that's actually probably perfect. That's actually probably perfect. Oh, I like the looks of that. It looks like it's going to dry down. No, I use the hourglass because we're excited for that. And I'll use this in my next video because I was personally very excited when I saw this. You know how sometimes when you see stuff online, you don't consider it and then you go in store and you're like, actually, this really intrigues me. That's kind of the moment that I had. Because with foundation, I literally have a million, literally. And so I often, unless I'm like dying for it, like I was for this because I love Hourglass, um, I usually just skip past it because I'm like, Sam, you've got a million, stop it. But I saw that it was half price. I was like, so affordable. So I didn't, couldn't say no. Anyway, so we have 
What is this called? The Veil Hydrating Skin Tint. I got the shade three, which is good for me. I am neutral. I'm pretty smack bang neutral. Maybe leaning a little warm, but I am very neutral. This just uh, goes into nothing. And I have the original skin tint. It is completely different. I might even, I was even, I have all these ideas, but I don't have time to do them. I was thinking of comparing this with the original Illusion Hourglass Skin Tint. They are so different. If you are buying this thinking it's like the Illusion, it's completely different. The Illusion is like a thick, I like it. You just use a little bit. It's a thicker formula. It's like a medium coverage. It's not really a skin tint and it's got SPF. This one doesn't have SPF. I love the Illusion. Uh, it's a ride or die. I'm terrified absolutely terrified that this is going to replace it and they're going to discontinue it. I can feel it that they're going to discontinue it because it doesn't sell even though it's amazing. I'm going to have to stock up. I've already got two but I'm going to need more because I can't live without it. The size, it's lightweight. Oh, I love it. Anyway, let's get into this one. This one I know is completely different. Love the squeezy tube. I'm a squeezy tube biatch. And I'm going to put it in my, this is my um, Kmart brush. It's really good. The 4D liquid foundation. It's got the little nipple, inverted nipple. And I'm going to put it in there. I've done about a pump's worth. I do know that this is not even light. This is sheer. So this I'm even thinking will replace. Um, I'm getting low on my glowish skin tint by... Glowish. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking of replacing that with this because I don't have that in my makeup drawer, the glowish skin tint. I have that next to me where all my everyday stuff is like my sunscreen, makeup remover, things that I use literally every day um, and hair supplies are at like a different section. Um, like a tr one of those like rolly trays on the top of that. So that's where my glowish skin tint is. And when I finish that, I have a feeling this will be its replacement because that's what I would wear just over sunscreen and out the door. Like I would just like literally just do this. Not even, I'd rather do this than no makeup and mascara. I'd rather do no mascara and just like a light tint because it makes my skin look super healthy and even like it doesn't like, I, I, it looks like I'm not wearing makeup, but I just like look good, you know? <laughs> so that's where I'm at. Are you someone that will do no makeup and mascara? Or maybe no makeup and a bit of blush? I am a no makeup with a tint. Like a sheer tint. Not not coverage. Sheer tint. I won't even do concealer. Like this is all that I will do. When I'm like... <sighs> ain't bothered, you know? But a little bit bothered. So you can kind of see... I would not use this with a sponge. The sponge is just gonna soak her right up. But I can see this replacing my glowish. Now I love the glowish and I really want to repurchase it. But I've got all of these products and I just I'm trying to like speak logic and not desire because the desire is to repurchase the glowish. But the logic is just to replace it with something beautiful, you know, just as beautiful. I think it looks really nice. It is what it says. It's a tint. It's not a foundation by any means, but I think I've got a nice glow. Natural. It does. It looks like a tamed down version of a glowish. And that was one pump. The one pump did my whole face. The thing with skin tints, it's very easy to overdo it because you think, oh, I need more coverage, but then you just have too much product on your face. So this, I think one pump is sufficient. This, I wore to work. I get super oily at work. I swear the lights actually melt my makeup and it didn't last. But do you buy this thinking it's going to be long wear? No. So it's not so much a disappointment rather than an observation to tell you guys that this is just your everyday wear it's not long wear it's not glam going out looking it's not a wedding kind of product if you have a drier skin type though i think it would last longer but for me i was literally melting by the end of the day so 
Um, but I would still absolutely wear this on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm just kind of doing little things around the house or going out, errands, going to the shops, or doing like going out for a picnic, something where I'm just like, I'm not looking for full on makeup and I don't really care about long wear as long as I just have like a nice healthy glow. This is perfect for that. So, pop it back in. And I'll show you the new things that I got as we go along. How about that? Because otherwise, this video will be very long. I got a lot of perfume, but you're gonna have to wait till the end for that. My, I don't have a new concealer. It's the LYS. So I just did my everyday makeup drawer and this is it. So some of the things that I've picked out are from my everyday makeup drawer that are not new. We have the full coverage brightening concealer. I have the shade LN3 and I thought this would be perfect for the skin tint. It claims that it's full coverage, but I don't feel like it's full coverage. And it's a nice, healthy, dewy serum concealer. So I'm not doing a ton. I don't like how hard it is to get it back in, but that's minor, that's a minor detail. Um, for the bigger areas, I'll use my foundation brush. And I've just finished my period, so my skin is good again. <laughs> a week ago, I don't know how this tint would have looked. <laughs> a week ago, I was to go on the full coverage. Each day is a new day when you're a woman. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, see this like definitely isn't full coverage. I just don't understand how people are saying this is full coverage. So I have just recovered from conjunctivitis. I've been back to back sick with no lag time. Um, I'm not having a good time. And that's partly why I couldn't be on camera because I couldn't put makeup on. And I think I'm okay now. I was using a disposable, like when I, it was also my birthday last week. It's just been, I, I'm not fishing here, but it's just been a hectic couple of weeks. So I had to throw out a few mascaras, which was fine. I was trying to finish them up anyway. So I threw out two mascaras that I knew I had used when I was on the fence um, before I realized I had conjunctivitis, which was my birthday, by the way. And then I used a, uh, not a disposable, but like a spoolie that I would clean with alcohol and remove and then use again. So I've only used mascara twice. I basically haven't been wearing makeup, but it was also my birthday week. So like I had things going on. So I did, I basically wasn't wearing eye makeup, but just a little bit of mascara. Oh, conjunctivitis isn't good for a gal like me who loves makeup, I've got to say. I didn't even get it from my son. I think it was because my son had conjunctivitis like, a month ago and none of us got it and then out of the blue randomly I'm the only one that got it I don't know I don't know how I got it it's disgusting I've never had it before yeah this is nice nice natural makeup um, I'm going in with the Emco Beauty instant contour this is the darker one medium dark that was gifted to me by a beautiful Nicole I do have the other shade but I am not as experienced with this shade. It's just a little bit more cooler toned. It looks super dark on my fair skin, but I think it will sheer out. Let's just do... I like to do... Mi oh, I look like a little tear. <laughs> um, I like to do like a mini, mini contour. I look very funny. I should go as a deer for Halloween. Like this is the makeup, I'm done. Uh, I will use the brush. I like to do a mini contour with cream. Just like mini, nothing too hectic. It just kind of defines the nose. Right? I'm not trying to make my nose look smaller. I know I have a small nose. I'm just defining its contours. Yeah, so that happened. And I'm still, I've basically got long-term symptoms from that respiratory virus that's going around. I've been sick for about two months, honestly, and I'm still not recovered. And I'm a bit upset about it. I basically have breathing issues from it. It hit me really hard. I had a fever for two days. And then I couldn't breathe. They put me on antibiotics. They didn't work. They put me on steroids that didn't. I mean, it kind of worked, but not really. Um, and I've basically got long-term breathing issues from it. And that's never been an issue for me before. 
So I'm a little bit upset by it because I basically wake up feeling horrible every morning and I still cough a lot. Um, so yeah, it's not been fun, but um, I'm really on a health journey basically because I've just been, my immune system's just been knocked down, honestly. And everyone in our, like, even my husband's just been back to back sick. It's just not been a good time. Like, I work in retail and then I have my children in daycare. I just feel like I'm surrounded by sickness. I just, it irks me. It honestly irks me the amount of disease that I am in front of. <clears throat> it is something that we, that is a reality. But I just, I just want to feel healthy again. And... I'm not an unhealthy person, but I feel like I'm trying to build my immune system, like these kind of drinks. Um, I really, I'm okay, so I'm going on a tangent here, but I'm growing my own garlic. And one of the reasons is because I want to eat garlic every day for my immune system. It's great for your gut health. And I love garlic. I'll happily just eat a piece of garlic. I know that's going to gross some people out. I got my Dior powder that I'm just going to lightly dust. This is very much a powder that's for light usage. The moment you do too much, it looks horrible. So I'm just doing the tiniest bit to just get that cast away. But yeah, um, I wanna like infuse honey, garlic in honey. And my brother has access, his friend has um, beehives to give me some raw local raw honey. And I just want to eat one of those every morning. <clears throat> I just want to feel good on the inside. Um, so I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm just telling what I've been kind of doing. Um, I talk a little bit more about it on my vlog channel, which I'll link down below. It's a brand new channel. Brand new. Don't even have 30 subscribers. So if you're interested, go subscribe there. I kind of just announced it in my live. Um, but I haven't really talked about it, but I'm doing more vlogging more lifestyle over there rather than here Because this is much more beauty focused and I know not everyone likes lifestyle, but in my lifestyle I talk more about whole food eating um, I'm I'm kind of going on that path of slowly um, Taking processed foods out of my diet. I don't know if I'll ever be a hundred percent because at the end of the day I love Eljana I love hot chips. I love nachos. Like there are things that I love, <laughs> but I'm just trying to be more conscious because when I do all of these things, I do feel better. But then when I get sick, it knocks me down again. Yeah, I don't have um, cream bronze. I don't have cream blush. So let's do my powders. Um, we got new stuff coming. Don't worry. So um, I'm trying to finish this. I put it in my shop, my stash. Just to see if I can actually finish a bronzer this year. That would be really nice. That would be great. Oh, this is the balm, by the way. Um, take home the bronze. Does this even exist anymore? Probably. I feel like these kind of products never really die until the brand actually dies. Oh, now I've got yellow lips. That's right, matches my top. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess I wanted to also say thanks to everyone who came and watched and attended and joined my live. I mean, that was two weeks ago. I've kind of been under the radar since then. Um, it was so much fun. I really want to do it again. Uh, I won't be doing it all the time, though, because as, you, as most of you know, I do have two children under five. And so evenings I am exhausted. But it's one of those things when you love something, you still make the effort. And I really enjoy doing that. So I want to do it again. It just won't be super, super regular. Um, so let me know if I did it on a Monday night in Sydney time, Australian Eastern Standard Time at eight o'clock on a Monday. I was even thinking of when I did a poll, it was almost 50-50 for evenings after 7.30 on a weekday or Sunday afternoon. Sunday afternoon would be okay for me as well. So I might even do the next one then for the people that couldn't do that and even time difference I know a few international people missed it so if you're international you need to figure out what your time difference is to Australian Eastern Standard Time or Sydney time all right we've got a new blush we've got RMS 
I thought I was going to buy the slipper one, ballet slipper. This is their new shade. So I already have two existing shades and then they brought out three new shades. I almost bought two, but then I stopped myself. I ended up buying Bohemian Girl in person. This is the prettiest color. On camera, it looks like French Rosé. Can I get it? In real life, this is peachy. It's almost like um, a better version of Nas Orgasm. It's more peachy. It's like a peachy pink. Can I say peachy again? And it's just so pretty. So Bohemian Girl is what I bought. Um, I might even go back and buy the ballet slipper. Just, these are my favorite blushes of all time. So I've got a real fluffy brush. This is the Morphe and Ariel collab. This is a blush brush and it's super fluffy because I know that these can be really pigmented. So you don't want anything too dense, the brush. You don't want anything too dense. But I'm on the mend. I am feeling better. Uh, it's just extremely slow, like being sick for so long, my body is, it's struggling to recover, but I am recovering. So all is well here. I'm, I'm back in business. Um, but just to let you guys know that I am feeling a little bit slower, a little bit easily tired. Um, but I am okay. My kids are great. My kids are so healthy. I'm so glad that I was the only one that got this virus because I know it's been going around. I know a lot of people have been getting it. Um, honestly, it felt like COVID. It wasn't COVID, but it felt like COVID and I feel like I have long COVID right now. That's kind of how I would explain it. See how pretty this is? This to me is spring, summer blush of the year. It's just cute. It's pretty. It's fresh. I feel feminine. I feel great. So yeah, Bohemian Girl. I am a bit of a Bohemian Girl. I don't know if you guys noticed, you might not notice in the camera. I did lighten my hair a little bit. It's not as dark as usual. I wanted to just, I actually did ask for it to be lighter than this, but I think it was taking a lot longer than she thought to lighten it. Cause basically she did my hair, my normal roots, like did my roots, my normal color. So everything matched. And then she bleached my whole head, like low, I think like 20 volts. 20 volume um but it took a lot longer than she thought it would so i think my hair's a lot more intense than she realized but i still really like it i was going for more like a strawberry blonde i think i'm still in the in the in the red range but i still like it it's nice it's nice for summer i just wanted a slight change nothing too hectic we're gonna do my brows i've got the cover girl um whatever this is called ultra fine brow pencil in soft blonde and i've got this one because my hair is lighter i don't want my brows to be too dark and this is a nice color for that and I, i've had a different shade of this branded brow product it was a little bit darker so i decided to go for something lighter and i like it because i have got quite light eyebrows my goal for spring, summer, 2023, 2024 is cottage girl. I want to live my garden girl dreams. I just want to wear white dresses with long luscious hair and skip in the garden. Is that too much to ask? And then I've got the quick brow, brow sculpting lamination gel. Honestly, I kind of skip this part. <clears throat> And I just use it like I would a clear brow gel. I don't try and laminate. I'm just trying to set. And I think that's the key to this because I, I don't know if you guys have seen my other videos, but these kind of products stress me out because I just don't have the brow hairs for lamination. And I'm okay with that. That's not a problem. But I wanted these products to work for me and they just never really did. So I'm just using it like I would just a regular brow gel just to set everything in place rather than try and laminate and that seems to be working because i want to use the product i don't want to throw it out i do like it no <laughs> i have two rms highlights do i love rms with all my heart they're my favorite brand 
I would say one of my favorite brands. I would say NARS, Hourglass, RMS. I would like my top three. There's three new shades. It was a really nice plum purple, not even plum, like a violet purple. I didn't get that because I'm not really a purple wearer. I bought the other two. I bought Eclipse and Moon Dust. I've already worn them and I love them. So this one here is the green one in Eclipse. Ooh. So the reason why I love these so much is they go on super creamy and they're super blendable and then they dry down and they don't crease. And they are the own, probably the only cream liquid product that don't crease on my oily hooded eyelids. The only one. So I wear these all the time. And this, like the blush, I literally want all of them. It's like, Sam, you don't need all of them. But if I were to be a collector, it would be the RMS blushes and these eye lights. I'm telling you what. So this one here is Moon Dust. This is stunning. I actually wore these two shades together. And this is like a champagne. Like, is this a joke? This is too nice. And then t they just work so well together. Now I've got it all over my fingers. So I might just, um, what I did was, I'll do the same. You know, first half was the champagne color, Moon Dust. And then I kind of blended it into the Eclipse. Just cause I had too much on my finger. I'm just going straight in with this. Um, I was wanting to do a little bit of bronzer, which I will do now. I just wanted to get that off of my finger. I'm just gonna use the bronzer in my uh, lid. Just a little bit. Just so there's something to blend into. Nothing too fancy. I'm gonna put a little bit on. So if you just touch these, it starts coming out. So I'm, I know what not to do. The other one is kind of already doing that. It does eventually stop. You just can't squeeze them until you started using, really using it. I'm just gonna use my finger. And you don't need a lot. Like I've just gotten too much. But you'll just see how beautifully they blend. I'm just using my finger. I did bring a brush. And they have so many colors. I love it. Oh my God. See, that's already kind of dried down. So I might need to get some more. Like it just makes green super wearable. Like it doesn't look like I'm wearing a little, like a, a super green look. I think cause it's got like a little bit of a cooler tone to it. It seems a little bit more wearable. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. It's like pigmented but sheer at the same time. See how these two are just perfect together? I don't have an eyeliner, but honestly, I ain't bothered. Mascara, I think I'm actually gonna go in with the mascara. I think that I'm pretty much healed. This is my first time going in with a mascara for about a week. And I think I can do it. I think I can do it. I've got the ColourPop Act Natural Defining Mascara. This is the brown one. It's called brown. <laughs> and if I have any issues, I've picked this one because I, 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 I like that it's brown, but I just don't think it does enough for my eyes, my eyelashes. So if I do have any issues, I can throw it out. And I'll be okay with that. But I do think I'm okay. I wouldn't be doing this if anything else okay. Yeah, like it's a nice mascara. I'm not talking crap on it, but it's also not the best I've ever used. Okay, and lippity lippities. I'm a little bit yellow. Let me have a sip of my drink before I commit to this lip. Okay, Charlotte Tolibre, lip cheat, pillow talk. She's a classic. And it's like my literal lip color. And then I've got a liquid lip. It's my L'Oreal 
I never know what they're actually called, but the shade is I Am Power. And it's like a really nice thin formula, nude, but it stays down. I thought it would go well with the green. I don't know. Maybe it's a little too peachy, but it's okay. I think it's okay. All right, and then I wanted to show you a couple of PR packages that I got. Or should I show you the thing that I bought first? I'll show you what I bought first and then the rest what I was gifted. It's just a couple of things. Um, this is the Jo Loves brand, which is uh, Jo Malone's new brand because she sold Jo Malone. I was heavily influenced by, if you watch Angelic and Nick Fist, her monthly hauls. I love her monthly hauls because she kind of does like mini reviews of everything. I really like it. Anyway, she bought this and she's got the same scent profile as me. Like she loves unisex but still fruity so i love fruity without it being sweet um there are some exceptions but the way she described this perfume it was like two days before my birthday and i was like <laughs> treat yourself and i saw that adore beauty actually sell joe loves and so adore beauty had this deal when you spend i think it was like 90 dollars on joe loves or something this was over there I got a free 10 mil of another one. I was like, score. And then I had a $30 off voucher from the last time I bought from Adore Beauty. So I ended up getting this, this. I got a sample, two fragrance samples from Aesop and YSL, more masculine. I gave them to my husband. And then your little samples. I got all of the, this was originally 145. I got it for 115 plus this. So I got these two for $115. Ended up being bargain of the deal. Bargain of the century. Okay, so this is Mango Thai Lime 50ml. Now, the reason I haven't opened this is because they actually give you a sample size of this before you open it. So I sprayed that first, um, but I'm going to save it for my holiday because it's a perfect scent for holiday. And that was another reason I wanted to buy this is because it's like a really nice summer fragrance. Um, and I'm, I'm quite impressed. It is very, it ha has got no depth to it. I wouldn't say this is a, a fragrance with a lot of depth. It is what it is. It's very lime and then dries down more mango. But that initial, oh my God, I cannot open this. I don't know if I love the name Joe Loves. I think it's a little, um, everything is so lush and, you know, sophisticated. Joe Loves doesn't speak that to me. Anyway. Um, this is what it looks like. It's got cute little ribbon. It's got the British flag on top embossed. So and here's what it looks like. So it's very nice. I don't even know if I need to smell it, spray it, because I've got all these other ones I want to show you. But yeah, it's very citrus lime, bursting, zesty. It almost smells like the zest. Um, and then the mango comes out a little bit later. So I do recommend it if you like very much fruity fragrances that are not masculine or feminine. So that was a really nice gift to myself. And thank you Angelica, because otherwise I really wanted something like that. I don't have a lot of fragrances like that. So I really was craving something very summery and fruity. So I'm glad I got that. And then I got the Pomelo from Jo Loves in a 10 mil. And this is lovely. I don't even know what pomelo is. Let me look it up. But it smells so good. Uh, citrus fruit, native to Southeast Asia, similar to grapefruit. It does smell like grapefruit. It's so lovely, but it's almost... It's got some floral in there too. So it's a very... It's very feminine, but not... Oh, let me look it up actually. So inspired by memories of summer holidays, white sandy beaches, fresh linen sheets, and sparkling iced water. This mouth watering grapefruit infused citrus is sharp, refreshing, and instantly energizing. I agree. So vetiver, pomelo, patchouli, and pomelo zest. Lovely. Actually, I think the vetiver gives it that earthiness. It's delightful. <laughs> Honestly, smart, because I would buy that. I would buy that. I'm really glad I got a 10 mil. And then from a, I got two, I got a fragrance 
from an Australian brand called Your Bliss Your Bliss Mindful Beauty. So they sent me a full size and the discovery set. So the full size that they sent me was Peachy Dreams. They must have had a look and known that I like fruity tones, fruity notes. This is a carefree and comforting wander through freshly cut grass, taking in the fragrance of orchids and the pear trees as you pause to listen as the wind whispers through the crisp afternoon breeze. A harmonious blend of peach, apricot, sandalwood, pear, and tonka. To me, like on my skin, I pull very fruity. That's why I love fruity because fruity notes are exceptional on my skin. Whereas um, musky, aromatic, like spicy notes don't do well on my skin. It's just, everyone's different. This pulls very apricot on me. I really smell the peach and apricot. Um, not so much tonka bean, but I feel like that's just kind of neutralizing the fruitiness. And the sandalwood would be more of that um, at the end of the day settle after like an hour. Hmm, actually no, I can smell the sandalwood in there. And I can smell the pear. It's very apricot. If I had to describe this, it's more apricot than peach, but I like that. It's like if I wanna smell like, if I'm wearing like a really cute summer dress, this is what I would reach for. And if I want to be really cute and feminine, that's what I'd reach for. And it's got a youthfulness to it as well. And then they also sent me the discovery set. I'll have everything linked down below. So we got Sweet Kiss, Fruit Bloom, Full Bloom, sorry, Peachy Dreams, Ocean Blue, Sunny Days, and Date Night. I haven't smelt these yet. I'm When they're this size, I'm afraid to. I'm really interested um, in, is, was it Date Night? Because I, this is no, Rose Neroli Two Rose Sandalwood. That is giving powdery rose. Not my favorite. I would still wear it though. And then I'm running out of space, but I really want to know what Ocean Blue is too. Maybe I'll do that on my hand. Oh, okay. This one's lovely. White sand as you breathe in the sea breeze and breathe out stress. Blue chamomile, fresh water lily. I love water lily. Crisp scent is aquatic color while sandalwood and pineapple. That's why I love pineapple. It's my favorite note in fragrance is pineapple. Tropical cocktail, clean, cool, and fresh. Yeah, that's lovely. Mm, okay, so I haven't smelled all of them, but Oh, Sunny Days has mandarin, frankincense, and kefir lime. Okay, anyway, I've got to spend some time with that. And then lastly, I, 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 I'm going to see how I feel tonight. I really want to use this tonight. This is um, Dipped. Have you guys heard of Dipped? It's an Australian nail brand. And what they do is SNS at home, I think. Yeah, the SNS with the dip powder. That's why it's called dipped. So I'm thinking of doing it tonight because I've been growing my nails for this moment. <laughs> and I got the really nice sheer pink color, which I wanted to just get a really nice wearable color to start with. Um, I got a lot of things. I got like a nail file, a buffer, alcohol wipes. I got the base, the primer, the activator, and top along with two powders, the Bonding Clear Dip, and then the color in pink lemonade, and then the brush, I think, to brush it all off. So, do I trust myself? I don't know, but we're gonna give it a go. There's full on instructions here, so I should be fine. It's just, I'm worried about my technique. I, I cannot stand my hands and my nails. It's not something that I like about myself. There are bigger issues to worry about, but if I'm honest with you, I don't, I got really short stubby hands. I always have, my hands are tiny, but stumpy at the same time. So I don't usually like to show too much attention to my nails, but this is a good length for me. I'm hoping that it will make it look nice and I just want to look put together, you know? Anyway, that's the look. Should we do just one more spritz? Mm-hmm. I liked everything, didn't I? I mean, I actually had tried everything. 
bar this but this is really nice and refreshing i think i'm gonna love this in summer i love the cucumber scent anyway that is everything guys thank you so much for watching remember to give it a like if you enjoyed it i'll have everything linked down below and i'll see you in my next video bye